Dealt a shocking blow at seven months pregnant, the woman found herself abandoned by her inconsiderate boyfriend who craved freedom. However, this unforeseen turn of events only revealed her hidden strength. Little did the ex know she was a secret millionaire, and his regret came knocking months later when he realized what he'd thrown away. Welcome to Amazing Truth Channel. Do not forget to subscribe and activate the bell button to receive all new. Now go to the story. At first, Mandy felt like she'd found her perfect match in Kevin. He showered her with affection and championed all her endeavors. Even better, Mandy's family loved him, and the feelings seemed mutual. However, their idyllic picture shattered when Mandy became pregnant. Though Mandy's joy overflowed, Kevin's response was lukewarm. He initially found her baby bump endearing, but his enthusiasm faded fast. Gradually, his support vanished. He stopped helping around the house and showed no paternal interest. Late nights became a habit, and the lingering scent of beer confirmed Mandy's suspicions. Desperate for a change, Mandy confronted Kevin. His response? Grumpy irritation and an early retreat to bed. The next morning, a harsh reality greeted her. Packed suitcases by the door, Kevin, incapable of embracing domestic life and fatherhood, chose freedom from responsibility. He slammed the door shut, closing the chapter on their relationship. Heartbroken and bewildered, Mandy crumpled to the floor, tears blurring her vision. How could he leave me at seven months? The betrayal stung deeply. Thankfully, Mandy wasn't alone. Her loving family and friends rallied around her, offering unwavering support through the final trimester. Slowly, she navigated single pregnancy, even finding a silver lining. Maybe it's better this way, she mused, a small smile playing on her lips. Good thing he never knew about my little secret. Ten years ago, Mandy's father, who owned a media empire in its heyday, passed away. He left his children a substantial fortune, making Mandy an instant millionaire. She kept this secret close, especially from Kevin, whom she met five years later. Mandy craved genuine love, fearing his affection would be swayed by her wealth. This decision, as it turned out, was a wise one. Halfway through her pregnancy, Kevin's true colors emerged. With the support of family and friends, Mandy, though heartbroken, steeled herself for single motherhood. Finances, thankfully, weren't a concern. The coming months were the toughest of her pregnancy. Her body ached. Even simple tasks like climbing stairs felt daunting. And despite her family's love, their help wasn't always readily available. Then, the big day arrived. Contractions gripped Mandy, and she called Julia, her unwavering sister. Together, they rushed to the hospital. Julia stayed by her side, a constant source of encouragement. Eight grueling hours later, a beautiful baby girl entered the world. Mandy, despite missing a loving partner, was overwhelmed with joy. Her daughter, the most perfect being she'd ever laid eyes on, eclipsed any longing for a romantic relationship. Two months into single motherhood, Mandy felt empowered. She was a woman who thrived, not defined, by a partner. Then, a dramatic phone call shattered the quiet. It was Kevin, his voice thick with sobs. He'd stumbled upon a local news article, an interview Mandy had deliberately granted. It featured her, radiant, with their daughter, captioned as the granddaughter of a media mogul. A sly smile played on Mandy's lips. This was it. Kevin, exposed to her wealth in the article, was back, playing the remorseful ex with exaggerated cries and tearful pleas. He begged to be a part of their lives, insisting he was a changed man. Honestly, it felt like the 50th apology squeezed into that single call. Weeks later, Mandy planned a family reunion. Everyone was excited to meet her daughter, especially the aunts and uncles. But as they walked onto the property, a collective gasp rippled through the crowd. Kevin stood beside Mandy, holding their baby. Shock painted their faces. Mandy had kept her secret weapon, her wealth under wraps from her own family, leaving them bewildered as questions swirled in the air. At the family reunion, whispers followed Mandy and Kevin like unwelcome guests. What is she doing with him? They murmured. Mandy, however, held her head high. He's the father, she declared, dismissing their concerns. Despite the forced smiles and awkward photos, Mandy's family couldn't ignore Kevin's brags about his newfound wealth. 
His disinterest in Mandy and their daughter, Lola, was painfully obvious. Yet, Mandy seemed oblivious. The charade continued at every gathering. Photos captured strained smiles and Kevin droning on about his supposed riches, while Mandy lovingly cared for Lola. Finally, Julia, Mandy's sister, couldn't stay silent. Consumed by worry, she called Mandy, expecting the usual dismissal. But this time, Mandy's response was laughter. Come over, she said. I have something to show you. Intrigued, Julia rushed to Mandy's house, eager to understand her sister's cryptic message. Mandy stood waiting, a sly smile playing on her lips. Inside, Julia found Mandy chuckling. Kevin's out golfing, Mandy said, amusement lacing her voice. Another extravagant hobby for him to milk. Reaching a secluded spot in the house, Mandy turned to Julia with a sly smile. I've been working on something, she declared. Julia's curiosity peaked as Mandy booted up a password-protected account. A single folder on the desktop held their attention. As Mandy opened it, the blood drained from Julia's face. What is this? Julia stammered, a whirlwind of questions swirling in her mind. How? Why? Mandy, however, remained composed, a knowing smile replacing her amusement. Don't worry, she soothed. I knew Kevin was after my money. He doesn't care about me or Lola. Mandy envisioned a life free of Kevin's interference, raising Lola on her own terms. But a hurdle remained. Kevin would inevitably discover her wealth. Unprompted, he'd likely claw his way back in, wielding his parental rights like a weapon. Judges rarely denied co-parenting requests, and with it, financial demands. I needed him to come crawling back, Mandy explained, but on my terms. Kevin's tearful phone call, a carefully orchestrated act, played perfectly into Mandy's hands. She'd meticulously planned their reunion, feigning forgiveness and lowering his guard. Now, with his defenses down, phase two could begin. Mandy wasn't subtle. Public events, packed with cameras, became their regular haunts. Back home, hidden cameras captured Kevin's every move, his neglect of Lola, his shopping sprees with Mandy's money, receipts piled high as proof. Even the prestigious golf club her father's alma mater was in on it, secretly recording Kevin's boasts. Julia watched, jaw clenched, as video evidence of Kevin's lousy behavior played out on the screen. So you have him dead to rights as a father and a partner, Julia concluded. Mandy, a steely glint in her eyes, nodded. He's out, permanently. Reaching into her purse, she produced a court order. The hearing's in five days. The judge wants to see him squirm. A triumphant smile played on her lips. He can't weasel out of his responsibility this time. That afternoon, Kevin's homecoming surprise wasn't a forgiving ex-girlfriend. Packed suitcases sat by the newly rekeyed door, topped with a mocking court order. His face contorted in rage, fists pounding the doorframe. Let me in, he bellowed. But Mandy wouldn't budge. Fake tears, a repeat of his earlier performance, fell on deaf ears. Court, dude, she smirked, and get lost. A week later, the courtroom became their battlefield. Mandy and Julia, armed with evidence, watched Kevin squirm. His neglect of Lola, the reckless spending sprees documented by receipts, it all painted a clear picture. The judge, unsurprisingly, awarded Mandy full custody and slapped Kevin with a 1,500-foot restraining order. Relief and vindication washed over Mandy. Justice served. Now, she could focus on what truly mattered, showering Lola with love. With her supportive family by her side, Mandy raised a happy, well-adjusted daughter. Lola never lacked for anything, and in the blink of an eye, it seemed, had blossomed into a joyful two-year-old, the light of Mandy's life. If you like the story, surely the next video that's appearing on your screen will move you too. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up, and activate the notification bell so you won't miss any of our next videos. A huge kiss and see you in the next story.